Hey, what's up everyone? In this video today, I would like to share with you an incredible platform that can generate high quality 3D models using AI. So imagine just simply typing whatever you want or using reference images to generate any 3D model in just a few seconds. From any kind of object or even game character which are ready to be animated so you can create really cool stuff like this. So let's get into it. So the platform that I'm using is called Rodin. It's an AI based platform developed by Demos Tech which gives you the ability to generate any 3D model by just using text prompt or image references. And the really cool thing about Rodin is it's really fast. You can generate any 3D model in less than 15 seconds. And you can even preview the model before generating it. That really gives you the flexibility and control to really drive the result to match your expectation. So without further ado, let me show you how it works. So in order to access to Rodin, you need to go to this website hyperhuman.demos.com So from here, there's a couple of different tools that you can play around with The first thing you see is chat avatars So basically, this is an AI phase generating platform So it's pretty much the same to Rodin, but it focuses more on creating high quality faces So for now, let's focus on Rodin So all you have to do is you click on this tab and then you get access to Rodin And just sign up and then you're in Alright, so here we are in Rodin, and as you can see that this is a developer beta version, which is the very early state of this product. So the interface is really simple. All you have to do is you click on this big button here to upload any photos, images that you have to generate into 3D. Or if you don't have an image, you can go here to start typing the prompt to describe whatever object that you have in mind. So for example, you can type in something like a uh, simple chair and then click here to confirm and it will generate some image some reference image for you to select so you can click here to switch to a different one and you can do this as many as you want it doesn't cost you any credit yet so whatever you feel like you happy with you can click here and it will use the image as a reference photo for you to generate into 3ds uh, but for now, I'm going to do something a little bit more challenging. Uh, so let's remove this one. And I'm going to upload my own photos, um, which is this really cool characters here. Uh, so let's see if Robin can generate this, right? So let's go back here and upload this image. And from here, you can have the option to start generating now, or you can add more images. And Robin can merge these into a single 3D object. But to keep it simple, let's try with one image for now. Uh, just keep in mind that clicking here still doesn't cost you any credit yet. That's really cool because you have the freedom to go in back and forth without having to spend credit uh, or commit it to any 3D result that you're not happy with. And before doing this, you can have the option to turn on the private mode to make sure that everything that you did is being kept in privacy, right? So normally it takes about like 10 seconds to give you the preview of the 3D models. So I think that is very impressive. Bam, so now it's going to give you this preview of the 3D models. Yeah, I think it's looking pretty cool and accurate to uh, the uh, reference image. And you can toggle between different views to uh, check the detail of the 3D models. And on the right panel here, we have the summary of the 3D models prompt. So you can have the option to turn on this toggle to define the properties of the 3D model that you want. For example, that you want your 3D model to be uh, symmetric geometry, or you want it to be in smooth edges. And when you scroll down here, these are really cool. Uh, so if you turn on this game ready and characters toggle, it's gonna automatically generate the 3D model into a T pose. So it will be so much convenient for you to start rigging and doing motion for a character like this. So let me just demonstrate. And just so you know, this UI here is used for distributing the input ratio when you're using multiple images. But for now, we only use one, so let's not worry about this. And now let's click redo. So it will redo everything. Uh, based on what you have been selected and still it doesn't cost you any credit yet so now we have this really cool t pose models and it's looking pretty accurate and i think this is really cool because something like this can save you a lot of time especially for game or so character animation once you're happy with this result you can uh, click confirm or you can just 
keep redoing it until you're happy so uh, so i really like this because it gives you a lot of freedom and option to select before committed to uh, something that you really think that is working and another really cool feature that i really like is this history panels where you can access to all of the previous 3d that you generated so in case you change your mind you can always go back and select the one that works better and once you're happy with the preview you can click here to confirm and it will cost you free credits and from here you can have the option to select how many polygons of your 3d model is go with 10,000 and click here to confirm and before doing that it will ask you to confirm if this model is symmetrical so just click yes all right so after 30 seconds this is the 3d model that it generated so i think overall it's looking pretty accurate to the image and details looking pretty good and you can click here to toggle between different views uh, like wireframes uh, to inspect the 3d model more closely and once you're happy with this you can move on to the next step which is a material generation so from here Rodri can generate the textures of this 3d models only using this image so you can have the option to select another image to mix the material but for now this feature is still under development so i figure it's gonna be like quite random so we're gonna keep like this for now so all we need to do is to click on this to start generating and it will cost you one credit and here you can also select the temperature of the textures as well uh, so now let's just uh, click it to see how it's gonna come out all right so this is the texture that it generated so it's really cool that it automatically generate the back of the character as well without having any reference images uh, so overall it's looking quite close to the reference pictures even though you can spot some like floor and some details not accurate but again this is still under development still very impressive so once you're happy with this you can click here to confirm the materials or if you're not happy you can click here to redo it and you can also access to the history of the generated texture to select the previous one so again this is really cool because it gives you a lot of option and freedom to go back and forth all right so now let's confirm with this one and start generating the full textures and after the process is done you can have the option to download this whole package of 3d model and textures um, and you can select different formats like OBJ, FBX, GLBs, USDZ, STLs. And for this one, let's select OBJ. And you can select the material that you wanted to download. Uh, so let's go with PBR. And here you can select the quality as well. So let's go with one case uh, because we don't need to be that big. So after you're done, you can click here to download the whole package. All right, so this is what we have in the package. So we have the OBJ uh, 3D models, uh, textures. Uh, we have the diffusion texture, roughness, normals. So from here, you can import this one into any 3D tool that you have. Cinema 4D, Sky, Blenders, um, Mayors. All right, so next thing I want to do is to show you how usable this 3D model is. So I'm going to go to mixinmo.com and we're going to import the 3D model and animate it. So let's click upload characters and just simply drag the obj file from the zip file that you just download into this canvas here and wait for a few seconds and then you're gonna see the 3d model being uploaded here and simply drag this point into uh, the correct position of the 3d model and to keep it simple let's switch this model to no fingers so let's click next and then it will start rigging your character and after a few seconds, we're gonna have this fully rigged character ready to be animated. So all we need to do is you go to the animation tab and select any animation presets you can find here. So I'm going to apply a walking animation, uh, something like this. So just click on this and then it will automatically animate it your characters. So let's click in place so it will stay in the same position. Uh, so everything is looking pretty good so the next thing is just to simply download it by clicking here and just make sure to download the skin okay it's good so let's download and finally you can just drag this 
downloaded FBX file into any 3D software. For example, here I'm using Splice, and the 3D model is being imported here, and just click here to play the animation. So it's looking pretty good. And now I just need to reload the texture into the 3D model. So just click on this color channel, switch to image, and just select the diffuse channel. And bam, now we have this fully animated characters generated by AI in just a few minutes. So imagine the time and effort it saved you from spending hours to model this from scratch, especially if you work for gaming. This could be a huge lifesaver. So even though Rodin is still a very immature platform, it's just in a better version. So the AI sometimes come out a little bit random, but I can tell that this is already a groundbreaking platform that was looking forward to to see how much they will improve in the next version and what feature they're gonna come up with. So if you're interested in Rodin, make sure to click on the referral link under the description to get 50% credit bonus for the first payment. And this is the end of my tutorial today, so I hope you find this one helpful, and I'll see you in the next one.